We know that climate change affects all of us, but really we want uh, global leaders to take action right now. I'm Chinny McDonald, I'm Head of Community Fundraising and Public Engagement at Christian Aid and we are here today to unveil a new artwork which tells the story of the disproportionate effect of climate change on the world's poorest communities. So in this artwork um, that you can see behind me, the storm represents the climate crisis that we are all in, all of us around the world, yet the size of the boat represents um, the resource and the ability to be able to deal with um, all that climate change is going to bring. The big boat represents the global north, those countries like the UK and America that have contributed the most to climate change. And the small boats represent the world's poorest communities, so those who are actually on the front line of climate change right now, but who are ill-equipped to be able to deal with it. So we're unveiling this artwork in partnership with the Young Christian Climate Network, a group of amazing young people who are walking um, from uh, Cornwall to Glasgow for the COP in November. This is really important to Christian Aid because this is an opportunity for us to um, call on UK leaders and global leaders to take the urgent action that's needed on climate change. But for Christian Aid, we are really focused on the world's poorest communities and those who are on the front line of climate change right now. So who are experiencing floods, droughts and storms, um, whose countries are riddled with debt, who are facing conflict, humanitarian disaster. And these are the people that we are focused on. And this has only been made possible through the generosity of denominations and churches like the United Reformed Church and Commitment for Life. So thank you so much for your generosity that has made this possible in partnering with YCCN. So thank